Greetings, everybody, and welcome to another Batch Collection Overview episode. Yeah, so with this movie, um, I know we probably should talk about the first movie in the franchise, but you know what? Um, that one doesn't have Batman in it, and since we're talking about Batman stuff, I figured, hey, uh, we'll get to that movie uh, when we do... Uh, the other DC bad overview. Yeah. But for this point, you know, for the point of this, I figured, hey, why not just talk about it, get it over with. Um, I'm, of course, talking about the second film in what was supposed to be the beginning of the DC movie universe, whatever you want to call it. I'm, of course, talking about Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, Ultimate Edition. We're going to talk about this today on The Media Files. Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, this is the second film in the original DC Universe. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. So, the this movie came out in 2016. And this is the sequel to uh, Man of Steel, which was the Superman reboot uh, that was produced by Christopher Nolan, but was directed by Zack Snyder. We will discuss that movie later. Talk about Batman here. So, Batman vs. Superman. So, when they had I made this announcement at Comic-Con, I believe it was Comic-Con 2014, all they, had, all they did was play, like, this loud drum, you know, cue music, you know, trailer music with the Superman logo pops up, and then in behind it unfolds Bat Wings. The crowd goes nuts. You got Batman returning. You got, along with Superman, everybody thought they were going to do World's Finest as the story. Not really. But what we did get, though, is probably, in my opinion, probably, uh, you know, one of the greatest, you know, roles, you know, probably one of the greatest versions of Batman we'll probably ever see. And I know people bash you know, the fact that it's played, that, you know, Batman's played by Ben Affleck, but you know what? I like to think of this version of Batman as, like, the Arkham, you know, Asylum game, ver like, the Arkham series version of Batman, because the way the fight scenes are in this movie. But, oh, man, is this movie, it's so good. I, I know people bash it left and right, but I tell you what, though, Ben Affleck does an amazing job as Batman, and you can tell, um, you know, certain people listen to certain people. Because uh, I know Kevin Smith had mentioned that, well, you know, if Batman's supposed to have this grovelly voice, why does why isn't it not just like a, you know, communicator thing in his mask? And sure enough, somebody heard that and they threw that in the movie and it works. And it basically explains how Batman talks in that grovelly voice. It's like a voice changer, like a voice box, basically. And you can tell, you know, that Ben Affleck beefed up for this role. I mean, he put the time in, he put the work in, and God, I mean, I tell you what, he's this version of Batman. It's dark. I mean, it's almost Batman Returns dark, but nowhere near as dark as that movie. But it's dark. But it's such a good, good movie, though. Um, you know, now granted, you know, here we have the Holy Trinity, as a lot of people like to call it. You know, with Batman and you know, with uh, introducing Wonder Woman, uh, Gal Gadot, as well as Henry Cavill as Superman. Probably the second best Superman that we will ever have. Rest in peace, Christopher Reeve. Um, so yeah, so with this particular version of Batman and versus Superman, so obviously one of the storylines that they are using for this is uh, The Dark Knight Returns because Batman fights Superman in that comic and it's an amazing fight scene. And not only that, if you look at the back here, 
That literally is the armor plating from the comic. Exactly like the comic. And they did it right. Um, and I just wish the fight scene was longer. <laughs> That's all I ask for. I mean, I wish it, it followed the uh, the comic just a tiny bit more, but I kind of get their story point. But, uh, I mean, but I mean, granted, now a lot of the one thing that I know a lot of people really hate about this movie is the fact that they have is that they got um, uh, what's his name is that they got uh, Jesse Eisenberg as. Uh, Lex Luthor there because everybody was used to say uh was used to uh uh Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor who's supposed to be bald Lex did have hair in the comics it is in there just read but man I tell you what though I mean the score of this movie is awesome the I mean sure you know it gets a little weak here and there but um you know that's kind of the point of this movie this is basically what was originally supposed to be kind of like a trilogy, kind of, is that this is kind of like, uh, it's kind of like The Empire Strikes Back a little bit. You know, the middle, it's the middle chapter. Everything's kind of go, got to go dark before it gets better. But I tell you what, though, um, you know, I mean, so we got, you know, it comes with, uh, let me see, is it with two discs or is it with three discs? Nope, just two discs. So you got the same artwork, you know, Ultimate Edition on the Blu-ray, regular DVD there on the DVD. But what's also cool about the Ultimate Edition is that it has both the theatrical version and the extended cut. Yeah, uh, the extended cut adds a half an hour of more stuff that wasn't in theaters. So basically, the theatrical version is two and a half hours. The Ultimate Edition is three hours. So I'm like, sweet, and there is a rating change. It goes from PG-13 to R. Only because of just two little scenes. And it has to deal with Batman. So, literally, the fight scene that basically is what people like to call the Arkham uh, the Arkham Knight series fight scene. Uh, there's that scene where he's, you know, fighting all these guys and he throws this crate over a guy and he hits his head against the wall. There's no blood. So, in the Ultimate Edition, there's a little bit of a blood trickle there. That's the only real added... R-rated scene, that's basically it. But, overall, I mean, you know, the, there's very little change to that fight scene, but yeah, they add a lot more characterization to it. Um, the one actor, the, uh, the one character I just can't stand in this is the Holly Hunter character as the senator. Uh, I don't know, she's just kind of one of those characters that's just like, okay, but, you know, but, um, uh, um, uh, you know, but I mean, you know, I mean, like I said, there is a little bit of difference. There is a little bit of a difference in definitely the rating between the two versions of the movie. But, you know, but what can I say? I mean, you know, in my opinion, the, the extended cut is a much better edition. Uh, you know, thank God that it, a lot of it was fixed. And I know that they have um, since then, this has been re-edited to uh, coincide with uh, the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League, where all the IMAX stuff has been recropped back into a uh, four by three aspect ratio, at least I think. Um, now, granted, that version has not been released on 4K or Blu-ray yet, but maybe one day it will, which I doubt. But, anyways, um, so yeah, so you got Ben Affleck, uh, Henry Cavill, Amy Adams as Lois Lane awesome, awesome inversion of her. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg, you have Diane Lane, you got Lawrence Fishburne in this movie. Uh, well, he's also in Man of Steel as well as uh, as Perry White. Awesome, awesome casting choice. But, uh, excuse me. But then you have the introduction of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Yeah! Wonder Woman gets this awesome, awesome badass theme. You got this electric violin and the drums, do 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 do, and it's also used in the Wonder Woman movie too. That that movie hadn't been made, uh, I don't know where we would be now with this character. But um, you know, basically, they also cram in um, you know another famous Superman comic, which I won't spoil if you have not seen this movie yet. Um, but you'll know who it is basically once you see it. 
But I tell you what, though, but this movie, um, you know, what can I say? It's got, uh, not only that, though, it's got probably one of the coolest bat Batmobile chases in this movie. Oh, it's so good. I mean, I mean, Batman usually, I mean, usually he tries to veer away from having his car torn up and stuff. This Batman doesn't care. He uses his car as a weapon in this movie, and that's actually pretty cool. Um, so, but yeah, but this movie, uh, besides the fact that it does have the extended cut with it, um, you know, it has, uh, quite a few number of extras on here. So we have Uniting the World's Finest, Glimpse, the Future of DC's New, uh, Bold New Cinematic Superheroes, Gods and Men, A Meeting of Giants. Justice meets uh, Justice meets vengeance when two icons clash on screen for the first time ever. The warrior, the myth, the wonder. Explore the origins, evolution, and impact of the Amazonian Wonder Woman. Accelerating design, the new Batmobile. Hit the road hard with Batman's newest high performance ride, and more. So yeah, uh, this movie it was. Pretty good when I saw it in theaters. Um, you know, people were kind of pretty divisive on it. You know, when it after it came out, they were like, eh, they're like, eh, it was all right. You know, I mean, it's you know, I mean, it, it teases stuff here and there, but you know, um, oh, excuse me, I've got the yawns here. I've been doing a lot of videos in the last few hours, so I'm kind of wearing myself out here. But what can I say? I need more content for my channel. So, um, so speaking of which here, hang on just a second. Um, so I'm going to also briefly mention this little movie, Suicide Squad. Okay. So the only reason why I'm mentioning it, why I am even mentioning this movie right now is because Ben Affleck actually makes a small, tiny cameo role in this movie and it's pretty freaking cool. So, you know, there we go. I'll do a review on this later. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what can I say? Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, um, you know, really, really good movie for if you don't mind, you know, some of the, you know, lag that's in this movie, but, you know, it's good for what it is, you know, it's a dark movie and it's supposed to be dark, that's what a lot of people don't seem to understand, it's supposed to be a dark movie. It's literally the Empire Strikes Back of the original DC universe. Enough said. Yeah. So with that, um, links will be provided down in the description below. Remember to please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Please leave a comment. I will try to come, uh, you know, write back or whatever, whatever I can. And um, also, if you have any suggestions on any superhero movies that you would like me to review or any movie in general or TV show, um, you know, if I have it, I will try to review it. If it's in the tote, I can sure I can probably find it. Maybe if I have it, if I don't have it, can't review it. Um, yeah. So with that, uh, I will see you in the next review. Take care.